it's definitely the bus for it. Don't matter what, what week you've had, what day you've had, there, there will be a period of time when you're riding, which all you'll be thinking about is riding. Whatever you've got going on in your head, yeah, you owe the bank manager five grand, yeah, your missus giving you a hard time, oh, I've got to do this, got to do that. You ain't thinking of that. But that split second might not be all the ride. That split second, you might think you're Steve Pete or something, you know what I mean? You might think, oh, that was awesome. You might crash it three turns up, but you, there'll be a bit where you think, wow, that was brilliant. Can I do that again? Bought a few motorbikes. You ride it round, show all your mates, show all your, you know what I mean? Look at this, look at this. And then it's like, where do I get now on this? Used to go down, there's a biker's calf down Bridge North Road. I used to drop in there for a coffee and met some lads. And I met some lads I knew through the gym. And it just went from there. We used to meet up on a Sunday morning. Whoever was out, you pick up obviously their mates, some at four, five, six of you, ten of you sometimes. And like I said, I had a, I had a couple of crashes. That's it, I had the bikes like. But sit, just stupid things, you think, you, the thing is you put them leathers on, you think you're immortal. Then I had a big smack in 2006. But that was mad how things happen. It was a bank holiday weekend. We met down in the calf. I don't think I was going to meet anybody. You just rock up down there and you see somebody. And uh, I ate another, another biker at me down on um, Proskites Road. Been down there hundreds of times. I was at the front, there was three of us out. I come into this corner on the white lines and uh, this bike come round this corner. Anyway, next thing I know, bang, and I was, I was up. Sky ground, sky ground, just conscious all the time. I couldn't move my legs. My glove was off, my visor was, was on my back looking up at the sky. But what had happened, I, I'd come round the corner, the chap come in the other way, Coming to this corner, threw the bike down and he'd sit me in the side. He got killed at the scene. I'd got two plates in my pelvis, broke me tib and fib. I got a plate in there, broke my neck. But that's how ongoing things, didn't it? The little one was one. I lost my job through it. I was off work for about a year. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a shit year. It was in me yet, once you start getting fit, I was like, I can't want to get a bike again. Because you're healing, the pain's going. It's like a drug as well. You get the off season now. If you're lucky, it's dry, you can get out. So, but if you have a dry morning, like today, it's fantastic. It's mad when you, when, you, when you break it down like that, like the kit you've invested in, the time to get there, for that split, I don't know, like you say, you might even do a short run, a short ride, and a couple of hours, 10 mile, and you've traveled two hours to get there. And I think now, as I've got older, it's like, I've got to go there. So I need to see what's there. You know what I mean? Because if I don't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss that. That's the, the, 
that is that will be <laughs> my swan song. There's trials out there I'm never gonna write. And you see some stuff on film and what people record, you know, publishing trials and that, and you're like, geez, I'll never go there. And that looks just amazing. When you see top riders riding stuff, it just makes you think, wow. It's hard to explain, but that's the buzz. And once you get that, you want to go again and get that feeling. I suppose it just gets you away from reality for that split second, doesn't it? 